This here is another viewer's very dirty gaming PC. Welcome back to PCDC, folks. I apologize for not actually uploading the final episode of this season. Um, that's what this video should be. I just assumed we were already finished with it. I was going to give the playlist a bit of a break because we were so deep and involved in the Fixer Flop playlist, which has been by far our most successful series to date. So thank you so much for that support. But PCDC is not far behind it. There's a hair or something in my mouth. Ugh. Um, and uh, so I wanted to bring it back. Obviously, we got to close out season three, but then also prepare yourselves for season four because that is coming. It's not like PCDC is disappearing. Um, it's just, uh, honestly, the viewership for Fix or Flop is so good that it would be a sin for me from a business standpoint to not prioritize it. And that's why PCDC has taken a backseat. And I know a lot of you complain these get redundant. I get that, um, especially the ones that aren't super dirty, but I think I found a pretty sweet candidate to close out this season. The owner of this rig has not cleaned this thing in well over a year. That is very apparent. When your basement is growing hair, that's when you know it's time to deep clean, folks. And honestly, if you just routinely cleaned every few months or so, you wouldn't have to deal with a deep cleaning session like we're gonna have to here. We're gonna take apart literally everything, uh, strip this down as far as the rig can possibly go and make sure that we clean all the dust out of every single crevice. I'm super excited about this because for me, this is like personal therapy. It just, that fix, I've been needing to get back into the PCDC videos. And uh, this I think is the perfect candidate. With that, I hope you will stick around. We're going to, uh, I'll walk you through kind of a POV right after the ad, um, just kind of show you what we're working with. And then we're gonna cut straight to some music and I'll give you the epic cleaning montage. All right, stay with me. To get rid of that annoying Windows activation watermark, head on over to VIP SCD key. Purchase a Windows 10 Pro OEM key for a fraction of the price of retail. Just use a secure payment method like PayPal, enter your product key into your PC settings window, and say bye bye to the watermark. And be sure to use our offer code SKGS for a so sweet discount. I just removed the right side panel in preparation for this little POV segment, and I realized it's even dirtier than I thought. So I'll go ahead and give you a quick little tour here. You can see the basement again is totally caked. These fans up front are definitely caked. Let me see if I can brighten the uh, image up for you guys. There you go. These are supposed to be black fans, but they look tan and yeah, that's old dust. Uh, the graphics card's pretty nasty. This is actually a secondhand card and the owner says that he did not take it apart. He just didn't want to break anything, so we'll definitely repaste this for him uh, when we're taking it all apart and deep cleaning it. Uh, we've got uh, yeah a lot of dust caked up in that rear fan there. I'm sure the power supply is super gross, but then check out this right side. Holy cow! Like what? There's there's got to be stuff living in here. There, there's no way. There's there's no way we don't have some sort of like spider nest or cockroach nest. This is this is disgusting, which is perfect. I, this is exactly what I wanted. Um, you've even got dust just going. Like, how do you even get dust here? Like, wh what 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 had to happen for dust to arrange itself in this pattern? Um, it's just, like I said, it's the perfect candidate, and I cannot wait to take this thing apart and see that transformation play out. By the way, all the cleaning gear you'll see us use in this video will be linked in the video description along with a few extras. You'll also find some of our troubleshooting gear there if you're a fan of our Fixer Flop playlist. All right, I think it is time to disassemble. I'm gonna take this outside. You know it's bad when I'm already, I've already got the gloves on. I haven't even started taking things apart yet, but I imagine the bottom is very, very nasty as well. I don't wanna drag this stuff all over the office. So we're gonna take it outside and uh, that is where the bulk of our cleaning will take place. And then we'll drag it all back in here and reassemble it, make sure that it powers back up. By the way, off camera, I did confirm that this system works. Are you guys ready? I hope you'll enjoy the montage. Here we go.
right on. This looks so much better than it did when it came in. I've got to say, cleaned up really nice. Uh, these NZXT cases usually do. The fact that these components were all black means that now that the dust is gone, these components look almost brand new. I mean, the fans cleaned up so nicely. The CPU cooler did the case as well. The graphics card is really the only thing that has any sign of wear still, I think. I mean, there's just some scuffs and things. And this being a secondhand card, I mean, that's to be expected. There's not much we can do there. Uh, but in its position that it's currently in, you can't really see it anyway. Uh, everything else about this rig, though, just looks so much better. Practically brand new again, and that is the point overall. Now, there's one last thing to do before we call it. We need to make sure that the system turns back on and posts the way that it did when it entered the office. This will also give us a chance to see what the rig looks like now that it's all cleaned up with the lights on. And I imagine it's going to look pretty darn good if there are lights. Well, it looks okay, okay. But the only RGB in this rig for the most part is just in the DRAM, but that's okay. Uh, still looks really good. Everything is spinning. Graphics card, fan is spinning. All the chassis fans, CPU cooler, and that there is our post. And it booted up very quick because he's got an NVMe in here. So uh, awesome. This is exactly what we needed to see. That means I can send the owner a photo of his rig all booted back up and looking much cleaner again. And uh, yeah, he can come pick it up as soon as he can. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. That would be greatly appreciated. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. If you like this kind of content, we have other stuff as well. There are playlists that you might be interested in. Be sure to check those out. Um, and if you have a broken system and you'd like a chance to have it fixed, or if you have a dirty system, you'd like a chance to have it cleaned, either check out this form linked in this description or the form linked in every one of our fix or flaw video descriptions. All of it's free of charge. Thanks to all of you for watching these videos. Uh, so uh, yeah, hopefully we can keep it going, but uh, you guys are a huge help and I very much appreciate it. With that, I'm gonna get out of here. Again, thanks for watching and thanks for learning with me.